Hello, it's Melinda from Scrapbooking Craft. Just coming on to show you a flowish journal book for a swap I've made. It's a bit chunky. I was going to keep it so it closed, but it sort of won't close, so I put a bit too much stuff in it. So these are some overseas swaps, so they have to be kept under, um, under 500 grams, so I haven't put a lot of chunky stuff in it. I've more put papers in it. So what the album is made out of is it's actually a box. My daughter got a desk bed wardrobe set from Ikea and these were the boxes around the drawers. So this is half it and then there was another half up here. And I like the gatefold. Um, and I've covered them with this is some stuff I got from a florist that they wrap on the outside of um, flowers and it's double sided and it just looks like a newspaper print. And then the inside this is just some encyclopedia pages that I taken out of another project and had bunches of those so I decided to stick those in. So I'll flip you through the album. So the only thing I like about the gatefold is one signature flips from there and one signature flips this way. Or you can have them flipping one on, like interleaving each other. So this is actually one of my drawings that I photocopied out of my drawing book. Um, I would like to do pen and ink drawings like that um, and I actually turn that one into a stencil for my business. Um, some French book pages, daily calendar, admit one some tickets and jelly prints from when I was doing a demonstration for my work. I come home with three to five hundred prints from a three day jelly printing show. So I did that, um, put that in there, this is a, out of a coffee table book, a gardening book. I'll show you the other side. So this is um, some pages, they're a bit liney and grainy, these are printed from my computer when I was running my ink out before I swapped my printers over, it decided it was playing up so I thought right I'll just run your ink out and I managed to get about 300 sheets so I was just, um, had these stamped out already, these are black stamps on the book paper so I just photocopied a bunch of those, that's the end of a paper bag, some stencils I decided to put in, I had a bunch of these left over from a business event I did and they've all got the stencils with sayings on them so I thought that'd be cool and I love the little package they come in as well so I thought I'll throw that little gift in. It's hard with overseas swaps because you've got to keep it within the postal range. Some houses I found on the computer when I was using up my ink and printing out. They are inkjet prints, but if you're very careful and don't smudge over them a lot, you can actually use them in mixed media. Some more French book text. A couple of postcards. And the back of the Heidi Swap packaging. And in the bag is a couple of napkins. So that's just the back of that signature. What's on the back of that? That's a Unity Art stamp that I stamped and photocopied to share. Um, just the back of the signature, back of the jelly print. These are all my stencils that I sell in my store. Um, and that's another one of my girl faces. So some handmade paper that I picked up. A piece of old book of my daughter's when she's practicing her lettering. I'm going through a lot of her stuff and reusing it. Another one of our jelly prints with some of our texture tools that we sell in our business. Some more of these postcards that are free to pick up around abouts. If you'd like the link to where they're from, let me know. If not, I will put it down below. Um, they're only in Australia. Some napkins. Some wipe-off sheets. This is where I wipe my brayer off when I'm jelly printing. Some butterflies I found on the computer that downloaded. Some wrapping paper. Some more of these postcards. They're great to use images or just use them as they are. We've got two stuff together here. Back of the back of the butterflies, back of the jelly printing, um, and a bit of stenciling on this one as well, showing our stencils. I love this bird cage. It was in a book, so I thought that'd be fun to include. Back of the jelly print there, and the back of the text. Some more handmade paper over this side. This is actually some cherub wrapping um, writing paper I picked up at a second-hand store that's vintage. Back of a weekly planner, another one of these jelly prints. We'll be using a circle jelly plate. It's another one of my hand drawings, so I thought I'd include some of those as well. People are going to use them in their art. Some more tickets, children's book page, coffee table book. That's beautiful, that picture. Um, another napkin. I love that napkin. Another one of my stencils. This is a scrap of the paper that I used to use on the outside of the book. So I'll put some of that in. Needle workbook I gutted, so I've got pages of that. And these are just something I found on the computer when I was trying to run out of my ink from my old printer. 300 pages later, I was still printing. Envelope and a postcard that I had. That's one of my stencils there. 
So just the back of that signature, another one of my drawings. The back of the jelly print. I love this postcard, it's beautiful, the colour blues. So some more of that. Oh, my daughter obviously didn't get up to E and D. She did two Ds and decided I've written enough, as she does. Some mushrooms that I've drawn and photocopied. Another napkin. Some more of this wipe-off sheet. I love the texture on these paintable sheets. Um, some more tickets. Um, oh, this is some from an old order book I had with my business I no longer use. This is a jelly print again. This is a book text page I've stamped on and photocopied. And there's another one of the girls. Jelly printing, more book ordering. Beautiful coffee table book image. Some tickets. Sorry, flipping quite fast now. I just want to get through these. Um, and not make these videos too long. Because a lot of these are a bit repetitive. So I love this book how you can have one signature going out this way. And you can almost do a three page spread. Or then you can have this coming over this way. And you can have these. And you can have this. I love this gatefold system. So I might actually fold. So I've got to go back that way. Sort of. So they're supposed to fold together, but as you know, I make things uber chunky. And I will loosely bind it with something with a belly band of pretty paper and send it off. So that is a flowish journal number three that I have made. This one is again off to New Zealand. So I will can't wait to get my swaps in because oh, they're so much fun. Bye for now.